Hello everyone and welcome to Jones Ask Survival. So I was at the store the other day and one thing I never really have as much around here that's snacky stuff and I wanted potato chips. I haven't bought potato chips in a long time. And so I'm looking and they want, it was about $3 for 10 ounces, which is a regular double bag, the box with the two bags in it. That's only 10 ounces of chips. And I thought, man, that, I mean, it's cheap, it's only three bucks, but it's pretty expensive for the few potato chips that you get. So anyway, I decided I'm going to make my own. So I went over and for exactly three dollars, I could buy ten pounds of potatoes. So I did. And uh, what you see here, this is five potatoes that are in here right now. And there are roughly 25 to 30 potatoes in a ten pound bag. I then went and bought a one and a half quart thing of vegetable oil which I can use to do this and then put it back into the after it cools put it back into that container and use it over and over and over again so the savings was huge and then when I want a snack I can just make them but anyway we are going to make some potato chips when I slice these now, I didn't use the very, very thinnest, which we've done it that way before, and they do turn out a lot like the store-bought ones. These will be a little thicker. This was the second size up, and uh, for me it's easier because when they're so thin, they kind of stick together, and this is easier, just easier to work with, and they'll still be good. So you want to slice them up, throw them into cold water, and let them sit in here for about 30 minutes to get some of that starch out, and uh, after that's done, we'll come back. Okay, so when I do this, I use my uh, deep fryer. You don't have to. You can use a fry pan, any type of a pan. You just need to get, I've got about an inch of oil in here, inch and a half maybe. You could do it with a half inch. I mean, they're real thin. So you just need to, some oil so you can fry them in there. If you do have a, um, a deep fryer, put it on 350. If you have a fry pan, you want the oil hot enough so that when you put the potatoes in there, they boil kind of gently. I mean, they're going to really boil, but it's not going to be spattering all over the place and stuff like that. Okay, now that these have soaked for a half hour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the water, I'm going to rinse them once, and then we're going to take them and lay them individually on paper towels so that they can dry. Okay, so all I did is, like I said, I just uh, dumped the water out and ran a just a quick rinse over them. All we're doing is getting rid of the starch that came out. And we just want to get these, you know, partially dry so we don't have them bubbling up real bad when we throw them into the deep fryer and it'll also it helps them they just seem to be crisper when you dry them a little bit now some people that do a, this a lot have drying racks that they throw these on so you're not wasting paper towels I waste a lot of paper towels <laughs> you know for those of you that watch the channel um, you guys have seen a lot of the tent videos and I know that I've said this many times but when I go up there and do any type of a seems like a couple times a year I'll get up there for two weeks up to a month at a time sometimes and uh, the thing that you miss I mean it's so easy to have stuff for your meals every day but the thing that you just don't understand is the snacks and maybe a person wouldn't even snack if you had them there but when you don't have them you wish you did and I think in any type of a survival or off-grid self-sustaining situation uh, more than likely you'll have potatoes, but I highly doubt you're going to have bags of potato chips stored. And um, this isn't the only snack, of course, you could have, but it's very easy to do yourself. What we do is we're going to put them in there like so. And they're going to be in there for roughly three minutes. Usually if you can get them in there without hitting another one, they won't stick together. And by the time they're getting uh, done, they'll have that nice golden brown to them, but they won't be burnt. Another way to kind of tell that they're done, like you see this one, it's no longer sizzling anymore. That one is done. Okay, once they're done, take them out and throw them on the paper towels. As soon as you get them out, go ahead and salt them. You can use any kind of uh, seasoning you want. I'm going to salt some of these. Some people put pepper on them. Whatever you want. You know what you buy in the store. There are so many different flavors. So just play around with it. 
keep in mind now I said three minutes, but it all depends on how thin your chips are. So just watch them. When they stop bubbling, you just watch for that color to turn brown and it's time to pull them off. You know what a potato chip looks like. As soon as it looks like a potato chip, pull it out. The fun thing about this is as soon as they're done, they cool really fast so you can go ahead and eat them. <laughs> Give them a try. Oh, they are so delicious. They are just like the store-bought ones. Taste even better, I think. Well, I got a lot more of these to do, so I'm going to continue on. All right, everybody. Well, the chips are done. Um, Time-wise, that took um, a long time to do. I was at this for two and a half hours, but then I had a small, if I would have done it in a fry pan where I had a bigger area, it would have been quicker and I wanted to be perfect and just get them done right. So, But I ended up with this many just regular salt potato chips. I decided to put lemon pepper on these, which is really, really good, but it's lemon pepper, so you needed to add a little bit of salt. And these were a spicy chicken wings, spicy hot. And I'm not much for real spicy food, but it wasn't that bad. But then again, it didn't. I had to add some salt to that. But they were really, really good. So, like I said, I mean, yeah, you can go out and buy a $3 thing of chips. But uh, especially this time of year, when it's uh, the sun sets at like 4.30 in the afternoon here, um, I'm the type of person that's busy all the time. And I just... You know, I just don't sit down, so when it gets dark, there's nothing to do outside, so this is a good thing to do, and uh, I had a really fun time. So, anyway, that's how you make your own potato chips. Spice them up any way you like. Um, give it a try. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.